Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pi Discussions. Today we will be discussing about how to upload a file to a REST API endpoint using request library. Let's get in. For this, I have created a simple API using Fast API. If you haven't heard about Fast API, it's a asynchronous web framework for building APIs with the Python 3.6 plus. Here I have two endpoints. The first one is file endpoint. The file endpoint take a file, the single file, and then return the file name. It doesn't do any kind of processing or saving file to disk, because that's not the concept for today. The concept for today is uploading a file to REST API endpoint using request library. And the second endpoint will take multiple files and then return responses list of file names. Let's check Swagger API docs for the two endpoints and then try it out manually before writing a script. Here is the Swagger API docs. You can see we have two routes. The first route is file and the second route is files. The file will take a single file and then return response as file name. And the second one will take multiple files and then return response as list of file names. Let's try it out. You can choose a file. I have given a single file and then execute. You can see the response. It has given the file name which I have uploaded. And then try the next route which will take multiple files. This is what. Try it out. Here I can add first file, the second and then execute. It will give the list of file names. Let's write our Python script for the same using request library. The first library that we require is request library. The second one is path class from pathlib module, which primarily focus on managing files and directories. In this case, we are reading file from a disk. The third library that we required is pretty print, which will prettify our JSON response. Now I will be declaring two global variables, one for base URL, which is base URL for my API endpoints. And the second one is images folder where my images are located. My images are located in the current project directory location. You can see the images folder. I have 11 images. How I can access it? I can use path cwd which is a current working directory. The cool thing about pathlib module is you can use forward slash to extend your path. The current directory and then I want to go further ahead which is images directory now we will be creating single file upload function which will handle our first route let's create it single file upload okay and then we want to access one of our images image file equal to this is the path for that file images folder is a base path and then I have to provide image file name we'll go on pick on random file name and then provide the extension now we will be uploading a file using post method response equal to request.post here I'm using my here I'm using format string to concatenate base path with my API endpoint. The first endpoint is file and then the post method will have another argument which is files. The files will take the form data which will contain our file data as bytes. Let's read our file as in byte. Files data equal to which will have which is a dictionary contain key and value. 
the key will be the the form data key here in my case it is file the api is expecting and then read our file as an binary even if you are sending text file it's suggested to use binary mode so that request will send a content length header for you file data and then we have to prettify our response using json let's call single file upload function let's run it you can see the file has been sent to our server and then the response that i have got it the image file name let's create multiple file upload function this will handle files route which will take multiple images as an input and then response will be list of file names image files equal to i have to access all the png files in that folder for that i have a glob method which will take a pattern and then return the files that match the pattern here i have need any file that I has extension png once i get the image files i have to create a form data to send along with my post request which is files data and then it will be similar to the above but it is the list of tuples as per the documentation for that i am using list compression for image in image files and the tuple will be the key and the second will be the key will be decided by the what your api is expecting the form data key here in this case files and the second is i am reading that file in binary mode once i done that i have to send a post request similar to the above files and point and then files equal to files data and then prettify our json response let's call our function and then test it out here you can see i am getting the list of file names that has been uploaded to the server that's it for today thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos like this